Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind the times that we have been faithful to our Lord. I confess. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously grant to your church, O merciful God, that gathered by the Holy Spirit, she may be devoted to you with all her heart and united in purity of intent. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 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 A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. At Miletus, Paul spoke to the presbyters of the Church of Ephesians. Keep watch over yourselves and over the whole flock of which the Holy Spirit has appointed you overseers, in which you tend the Church of God that he acquired with his own blood. I know that after my departure, savage wolves will come among you and they will not spare the flock. And from your own group, men will come forward, perverting the truth, to draw the disciples away from them. So be vigilant and remember that for three years, night and day, I unseasonably abolished each of you with tears. And now I commend you to God. And to that gracious word of his that can be built upon you, and give you the inheritance amongst all who are cons cons consecrated. I have never wanted anyone's silver or gold or clothing. You know well that these very hands have served my needs and my companions. In every way I have shown you that by hard work of that sort we must help the weak. And keep in mind the words of the Lord Jesus who himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. When he had finished speaking, he knelt down and prayed with them all. They were all weeping loudly. And they threw their arms around Paul and kissed him. For they were deeply distressed that he had said that they would never see his face again. Then they escorted him to the ship. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to God, O kingdom of the earth. Sing, Sing to God, God, O kingdom of the earth. Show forth, O God, your power, the power, O God, with which you took our part. For your temple in Jerusalem, let the kings bring your gifts. Sing, Sing to God, God, O kingdom of the earth. earth. Your kingdoms of the earth sing to God. Chant praise to the Lord who rides on the heights of his ancient heavens. Behold his voice, resound the voice of power. Confess the power of God. Sing to God, O kings of the earth. Over Israel is his majesty. His power is in the skies. Awesome as his sanctuary is God, the God of Israel. He gives power and strength to his people. Sing to God, O kings of the earth. Your word, O oh Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. Hallelujah. 
from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you. Lifting his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one just as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me. And I guarded them, and none of them were lost, except the son of destruction, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you. I speak this in, this, in the world, so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word, and the world hated them, because they did not belong to the world, any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I send them into the world and I consecrate myself for them, so that they may also be consecrated in truth. The Gospel of the Lord. I would like to share with you the prayers of little children because I think that our prayers of petition should be specific. I'll start off with this. Dear God, please send a new baby for mommy. The new baby you sent last week cries too much. This is my prayer. Could you please give my brother some brains? So far, he doesn't have any. Please help me in school. I need help in spelling, adding, history, geography, and writing. I don't need any, I don't need help in anything else. Dear God, I need a raise in my allowance. Could you have one of the angels tell my father? Thank you. The above are, are petition prayers from children specifically for a purpose, specifically, specifically for what they're thinking about, for what they need. Jesus in the gospel is doing an intercessory prayer for his apostles, the ones who are with him. He was doing an intercessory prayer for those close to him and for his future disciples, each and every one of us. Jesus' intercessory prayer has four elements. First off, protection. Protection for his apostles that are going to be out in the world when things are getting rough, when things are not going their way, when things are being against them. To illustrate, to relate to this, I will give you a story. There was a, a father and a son that uh, his wife had died. So after the funeral, they went home, feeling all alone and grieved. So that night, the little boy asked the father, Daddy, can I sleep with you tonight? And the father says, yes. So they tossed and turned all night long. They could not fall asleep. So around 3 o'clock in the morning, the little boy turns to his father and says, Father, are you looking at me? And the father says, yes. And he says, if you are, then I think I can fall asleep. 
So a little later, he noticed that his son was resting and asleep. So he stands up, goes to the, to the window, and moves the curtain so he can see to the sky. And he says, Father, are you looking at me? Are your eyes on me? If they are, I, I think I can go to sleep and be at peace. This is a prayer of protection. Jesus is always, always with the ones who are his. And we are his from baptism. We belong to him. So he protects us all our lives. He is there. He has his eyes on us. Second, the world. That's the second element. Jesus became a man and came into the world to save the world. But it seems like the world now is against his mission. It could be called a Satan tempting us away from God. Tempting us to the things of the world. Jesus was tempted from the same evil one, the same liar. And he says, I will give you everything in this world if you would just kneel to me. How can that be? Jesus created everything. He owns everything. That's silly. But then he, he went ahead and let the devil tempt him. Jesus loves us, and he wants us to be with him. He doesn't want us to be, of course, we are in the world, but he doesn't want to be for the world. He wants us to be for him. He wants us, he wants us to choose him, not the world. It is easier said than done, isn't it? Because we do live in the world, but we have to do our part. Third, joy. Even if we are suffering from misfortunes, we need the everlasting joy of Jesus in our lives because it lasts for eternity. It lasts past this life. Fourth is truth. The very important aspect of life. Jesus consecrates us, consecrates us wholly to the truth. A priest said in his homily that we have to do our part in building up the church. Our part in intercessory prayers. We are supposed to do intercessory prayers for each other. For each other. That's our role in this world. We don't pray for ourselves only. We pray for our neighbor. We pray for the one that, that hates us. We pray for the one that has been back to us. We pray for them, as Jesus said. If we only pray for the ones that love us, where is, where, what good is that? We need to pray for the ones that despise us, the ones that don't, doesn't love us. And we need to do our part in this world because Rest now, we are ambassadors for Jesus Christ in this world. We're supposed to go out and bring souls for Jesus like he did. He was the truth in this world. And by lifting him up on the cross, he brought souls to himself, to God himself. So let us pray as a church that we be good ambassadors in this world for our loving God. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray for the church as a family of God that we might be a people that are ambassadors that 
think of Jesus in our lives and bring others, other souls to him. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our bishop, and all the bishops in the world, and our, our, our priest, Father David, and all the priests in the world, that they've been leaders in this world, showing us the way back to the Father, showing us the joy that the Father has to give us. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all young people in the world, that they hear the word of God and respond to it. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all the people that have been affected for this coronavirus. Let us pray for that God might heal them and also the ones who have died, that they will see the face of God when they enter into eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for the end of abortion in our world. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all marriages that are having problems during this time where there has been lambs. Let us pray that they find work, that our economy will again be vibrant. Let us pray to the Lord. And for all those intentions you carry in the silence of your heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Now let us ask on a petition to Mother Mary as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our, peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you.
Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy of any shame under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May our partaking of this divine sacrament, O Lord, constantly increase your grace within us and by cleansing us with his power. Make us always ready to receive so great a gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. The blessing of Almighty God, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, come Amen. upon you and remain in you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and to serve our Lord. Grace be to God.